to the latest from Kensington Palace. Prince William has pulled out of a memorial service due to personal matters, according to the palace. He had been due to deliver a reading at a ceremony to honour his godfather, the late King Constantine of Greece. Queen Camilla led members of the royal family at the service in his place. Kensington Palace did not elaborate further, but said that Kate, the Princess of Wales, is doing well as she continues to recover from abdominal surgery. Joining us now in the studio, Talk TV's royal editor Sarah Hewson is with us. I mean, naturally, speculation is rife at something like this. He's pulled out. He might just have a tummy bug. Uh, maybe they would have said that. I don't know. Is this to do with the king? Because he's obviously having cancer treatment. Is it to do with his wife who's in recovery after severe surgery? Well, on those latter two points, I don't think it's to do with either, actually, because let's look at what we do know. Kensington Palace saying that the Princess of Wales continues to be doing well. Yep. So I think that remark is trying to distance this particular event from anything to do with Kate's health. Uh, and the King, well, he was at Windsor Castle earlier on today. He left before uh, this th service of Thanksgiving for King Constantine, his second cousin, a close friend of his. But we knew that he wasn't going to be in attendance mm. because he's not going to big gatherings sure. at the moment, given the treatment he's undergoing. Uh, he then returned to Clarence House, but Queen Camilla was representing so if him. If there was, so anything, if there was anything awful going yes. on with the King, she wouldn't be there. Yes, either, so. and she was representing him. I, I think the mood music is this isn't anything to be overly concerned about. But of course, the moment you hear that Prince William has had to pull out at the last minute, mm. it is going to ring some alarm bells. And there's an, a lot of extra scrutiny on their movements, the engagements they do, the, what that might mean yeah. if they have to pull out. These things do happen. Although I'd say do it's usually happen? pretty serious if they're going to pull out of something say, like this. You, yeah. To pull out for personal reasons, when you, know, you listen to... A, 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 I don't think William has been so vocal about this for obvious reasons, but Prince Harry, whatever you think of Prince Harry, you know, he's talk, he talked very openly about, you know, how he and his brother would sort of sit there waiting for the police motorcycles to turn up because they knew they had an engagement, an opening, something to attend. And he said that, you know, if you were having a terrible time, as he was at that time with all sorts of issues, mm. um, there, was, put a brave there face was nothing worse. You had to put a brave face on mm. it. Um, there was no real pulling out of it, was sort of the suggestion. So, no, because they know they're letting so many people down yes, if they do. And this was a big deal today. This is uh, the memorial service for Prince William's godfather, King Constantine of Greece, the last king of Greece, uh, first cousin once removed to Prince Philip, his sailing partner, yep. second cousin of the king, very close uh, friend of the king, so much so that he chose him to be one of William's uh, godfathers. Very close family ties between mm -hmm. the two families. And so we've seen a big turnout from members of the royal family today, but not William. And not only was he due to attend, he was due to be giving a reading. Uh, Crown Prince Pavlos uh, of Greece, King Constantine's son, stepped in to do that. But that meant William was on the order of service. Yes. It was. It was, so this was very confirmed last minute that start. he was due to go. And Kensington Palace saying it was a personal matter, not elaborating uh, any further, uh, but that reassuring news yeah. that the, the Princess of Wales continues so to So that wouldn't well. just be a sore throat, as somebody said earlier, because you could always say, you know, OK, I can't give the speech because I've lost my voice. Uh, it would suggest there's something more going on. I mean, I don't want to employ hyperbole yeah. here when there is no evidence, but as you say, it's quite rare for this to happen particularly at an event such as this that he feels strongly about. It, does it was happen. clearly last minute. Yeah. Otherwise, his name wouldn't be on the order of service. Yeah. And I People think, will speculate. And I think probably they'd be hoping that we wouldn't notice, but, of course, Maybe. that extra scrutiny uh, on uh, the royals at the moment means yeah. that, you know, if William's not just going up the road, because it's not a far... It's not a long trip for him either from Adelaide Cottage to St George's Chapel this is in true. Windsor. Uh, and so it would suggest that something... Yes. had happened that yeah, was yeah, a bit yeah. more serious. I mean, it, it could be to do with one of the children, for example, and in which case you would understand why of they course. Want to, yeah, uh, yeah. don't want to go into any details of it. It could be that he was ill and, and they don't want to, you know, say too Do much we ever get it. to know? I mean, is there a... I mean, you know the, how the palace functions very well, Sarah, more than most, and how that machine operates. Um, and it's been appalling over the years. I mean, it's, it seems to have got a little bit more efficient. Do we hear more? Is there another press release? Will we get one tomorrow saying no. William's fine? Because doubtless he's got other engagements this week. I, I, I imagine they'll hope this one just blows over yeah. and um, that, you know, they, they've said it's not anything... You know, they, sure. they've sort of insinuated this is not a big 
area of concern. But he must be due moment. elsewhere in the next few days. Yeah, and then we'll see him in public again. And, and that's the thing, he has, you know, only recently come back uh, yeah, yeah. to uh, working life, uh, having taken some time out. And, and what was interesting today is when William wasn't there, Queen Camilla was leading the royal family, but she was driven uh, from Windsor Castle to St George's Chapel. And that meant we had the spectre of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson leading the royal party down the hill to St George's Chapel. Now, this wasn't an official uh, engagement sure. for the royal family. It was a family engagement. And we understand that the, the Duke of York was invited as a member of the British royal family by the Greek uh, royal right. family. But quite incredible to see uh, those images of him at the, the front of the pack, uh, if you like. Yeah. It's always good to see Mike Tyndall out and about, though, isn't it? Mike, Zara there. They bring some brevity Dan. and some normality <laughs> to that yeah, family. Yeah, absolutely. Just waiting no for nonsense. a bit of a rugby tackle on the, uh, on the prince <laughs> Hopefully the not there. splitting his trousers on this occasion, well, as in, he uh, indeed. Uh, has described it. <laughs> Listen, Sarah, thank you. Sarah Houston, <laughs> you. our royal editor with us on the programme.